Back in 2013, Google introduced a new style of emoji called blobs. They were designed by a studio in Japan and helped to launch the Android 4.4 KitKat update. Sadly, this style did not last very long and they were removed from Android back in 2017. However, there is a hidden way of accessing the blob emoji if you're using Gboard, and I can show you how that feature works today. Now, for this to work, you must have the Emoji Kitchen feature enabled within the Gboard application. This toggle should be enabled by default, but if it's something that you have manually turned off, then you'll need to enable it again or it simply will not work. Then, you'll want to bring up an application that supports images through the keyboard, such as a chat application, and then bring up the emoji selector within the Gboard application. As mentioned, this works thanks to the Emoji Kitchen feature. So, so first, you need to tap on the three star emoji, and then you're gonna follow that up with any other emoji that you have in this list. You'll see after a couple of seconds, it will work to create that Google blob emoji right there as a sticker. So you can then select that suggestion and it will send it to your chat app. I have found that this will work with just about any emoji available in this list. However, there are some that there just isn't a blob counterpart for. So you'll see the nothing to see here message when that is the case. But for everything else, you'll have that suggested blob emoji pop up when you use that combination. Google's blob emojis were quite the divisive feature when they were introduced back in 2013. For some, it took a while before they began to enjoy the unique style, but others have never liked them and they were happy to see them redesigned in 2017. You can still find these as a downloadable sticker pack within Gboard, so they can still be used if you don't want to use the Emoji Kitchen feature at all. You will just need to manually download them from here. But having that simple shortcut is a nice way of bringing back the Google blog emoji with little effort at all. Now, let me know if you ran into any issues following this guide today. And please, do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.